This, you could probably sell them for five bucks a pop. I mean, with these new regs, it is so fucking easy to keep like a dozen of these in your locker. You'll make so much fucking money. So you just take the cap off the pill. And you just pour some juice in there. Throw the motherfucker up. And you put the cap on. And you get probably one of like the strongest things, right? Because the government doesn't know when you start restricting drugs, it only gets stronger. You know, you get a lot more bang for your buck. And it gets a lot more dangerous too. And I say you could probably sell these for five bucks a pop. With the new regulations, as long as you have a connect that's like above the age of like 21, you can make so much fucking dick, my guy. So, uh, <laughs> oh, dude. oh my god. Now, if you don't already know, the year 2020 started with the American government changing the minimum age to buy nicotine products to 21. Now, you know, I'm totally, I think, like, I think we already learned enough from the war on drugs that uh, just making it illegal just doesn't do a whole lot. But I think with nicotine, it's different, right? Like, with stuff like, you know, cannabis, pot, that it's not good if that's actually illegal, right? Because, you know, it just makes denser products. I mean, I don't want to get into the war on drugs, you know, with harder drugs, uh, decriminalizing it and like having maintenance centers is a total strength. But I think with alcohol and nicotine, just because they're so readily available, I uh, definitely support changing the nicotine age to 21. Now, because, uh, you know, c cigarettes are so fucking shitty for you. Like vaping, uh, is fun. I'm not going to deny that I've had some nice times with that. But, I mean, I mean, for the payoff, and, then, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that, like, really abuse nicotine. But, like, you know, compared to some of the harder drugs, I think that'll just have people do it less. I mean, people are still going to do it. No matter how illegal you make some shit, people are still going to do it. But with uh, just changing the age of 21, having the alcohol age be 21, I think, you know, it desensitizes people to use, you know, alcohol and cigarettes, which, you know, they, there's a whole lot to gain from those drugs. And, you know, the drugs that need to be decriminalized so the, you know, people who are addicts have somewhere to go to and don't just, you know, retreat into their addiction, like stuff like, you know, like opioid and cannabis, that stuff needs to have different regulations. And this is sort of kind of like ostracizing drugs. But, you know, in the end, you can still have easy access to all the nicotine you ever want. You just got to be old enough. And especially when the brain develops, like one of my friend's dads, I talked to him. He's been smoking cigarettes since he was 13. Right? This, he's been smoking cigarettes since he was 13. And as his brain developed, it developed, you know, around nicotine. So, you know, when you're 21, your brain is, you know, more developed and you're a lot less likely to get addicted. But let it be known that just because, you know, changing the age to 21 doesn't, like, nicotine is different from other drugs. So I'd say, all in all, this isn't too bad of a thing. And, you know, if you're 21... And you have like friends who are 20. I'm not, I do not promote doing anything illegal. But you probably make, I'm sure people like that have been making a lot of money, right? Just because you change the rules around isn't going to stop people. But I think this is a nice regulation to de uh, intensify, you know, people to go out there and get addicted to nicotine. So overall, I don't think it's too big of a deal. But uh, yeah, don't, I, I don't have to say this because people are that stupid that they think I genuinely meant that. But, I mean, 100% don't do illegal stuff. You know? But that's it. I mean, all, all in all, I mean, nicotine is different from other drugs. A lot of the, you know, the whole war on drugs and the regulations around other drugs 
are a lot different. And nicotine is a different drug than a lot of other drugs. And in the end, all really all nicotine really does is like give you like a cluster headache and makes your genitals shrivel up. 